¡Hasta la victoria siempre! Let's now shift focus to Venezuela. Yesterday we told you about the row over the election results. Now things are only heating up on the ground. To the extent that the streets of the capital Caracas and several other cities have become battlegrounds. Anti-government protests have swept through Venezuela following the contentious election result that awarded a third term to long-serving leader Nicolas Maduro. The opposition claims it has substantial evidence that the election was stolen. Our next report delves deeper into the developments from on the ground. Streets filled with protesters and police forces, blocked roads and chaotic scenes. This is what Venezuela looks like right now. The turmoil began after Venezuela's election board, accused by critics of being the Maduro government's pawn, announced on Monday that the incumbent president secured a narrow victory with 51% of the vote. This result has extended the Chavista rule, which began in 1999 with the late president Hugo Chavez, for another time. However, the opposition argues that 73% of the vote tallies it has reviewed indicate a resounding win for their candidate Edmundo Gonzalez, who supposedly garnered more than twice the votes Maduro did. This discrepancy has ignited widespread anger and led to Casero Lazos, a form of protest where people bang pots and pans across the nation. According to reports, Venezuelans, frustrated and seeking change, have taken to the streets in large numbers. Many blocked roads, lit fires and hard petrol bombs at police forces, resulting in chaotic scenes, especially near the presidential palace in Caracas. In response, police in Caracas and other major cities have allegedly used tear gas to disperse the crowds. Demonstrators, many on motorbikes or draped in the Venezuelan flag, have faced off with the security forces. The protests show no signs of abetting. In the city of Coro, protesters celebrated as they tore down a statue of Hugo Chavez. The Venezuelan Conflict Observatory has reported 187 protests across 20 states, noting numerous acts of repression and violence by paramilitary groups and security forces. President Maduro, appearing in a live broadcast from the presidential palace, insisted that his forces are monitoring all acts of violence and upholding peace. In his speech, Maduro put the blame on the opposition for instigating the unrest. Despite Maduro's assurances, the situation remains volatile. At least two fatalities have been reported in connection with the protests. These deaths have only heightened tensions in a nation already on the edge. Maduro, a former union leader and foreign minister who first took office following Chavez's death in 2013 and was re-elected in 2018, has presided over an era marked by economic collapse, mass migration and strained relations with the West. Both of his previous elections were marred by allegations of fraud and this latest result has drawn skepticism from independent pollsters and international observers alike. Many countries such as the US, Chile, Peru and Argentina are calling for a comprehensive review of the election results. Opposition leader Maria Corina Machado, who was barred from running in the polls but has been a prominent figure in Gonzalez's campaign, called for a nationwide march to make every vote count and defend the truth. As the opposition gears up for more demonstrations, the government 
has also planned pro-Maduro rallies, signaling that the streets of Venezuela will remain a focal point for the ongoing political battle. Bureau report, we are. World is one. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.